NASA's Next Generation Moon Rocket, the Space Launch System (SLS) with the Orion crew capsule perched on top, stands on Launch Complex 39B as rain clouds move into the area before its rescheduled debut test launch for the Artemis 1 mission at Cape Canaveral, Florida, U.S. September 2, 2022. Reuters slash Joe Skipper register now for free unlimited access to Reuters. Com Cape Canaveral, Florida, SEP2, Reuters, ground teams at Kennedy Space Center in Florida on Friday began a final full day of launch preparations on the eve of a second attempt to send NASA's giant, next-generation moon rocket O. Mission managers were still go for a Saturday afternoon liftoff of the 32-story tall space launch system, SLS, rocket and its Orion space capsule to kick off NASA's Moon to Mars Artemis program, successor to the Apollo lunar missions a half-century ago, NASA officials said. Tests conducted Thursday night showed technicians appeared to have fixed a leaky fuel line that contributed to NASA's decision to halt Monday's initial launch operation, Jeremy Parsons, a deputy program manager at the Space Center, told reporters on Friday. Register now for free unlimited access to Reuters. Come two other key issues on the rocket itself, a faulty engine temperature sensor and some cracks in insulation foam, have largely been resolved. Artemis mission manager Mike Serafin told reporters Thursday night. Melody Lovin, a launch weather officer for the U.S. Space Force in Cape Canaveral, said forecasts called for a 70% chance of favorable conditions during the two-hour Saturday launch window, which opens at 2.17 p.m. EDT, 18.17 GMT, as well as for a backup launch time on Monday. The weather continued. I do not expect weather to be a showstopper by any means for either launch window. Still, she added, the odds of scrubbing a launch on any given day for weather or any reason were about 1 in 3.